tired. Baby, get tired. Baby, get tired. Baby, get tired. Baby, get tired. I'm Rick. I've got some problems in my life. You know, I'm trying to play with the hand I was dealt, and... Maybe I don't always deal with it the right way. At one time, I felt like I was a magnet for books. And I think I am a magnet for books. I'm Jeff, I'm Ricky's brother. If the books he's had, if he were to read them, I mean, he'd be the smartest man in the world. I'm Rosie, and Ricky is a family friend. And honest to God, I can tell you he's probably read every single book in that house. I, myself, have been to the other side of the planets and into the stars, right? To the center of the stars. Baby. And you can learn all this from books, and I, and I do. To me, that's his escape from reality. A real satisfactory life is sometime in the past. He's had that house since he was basically out of high school. It was a nice house then. Nice floors, nice bedrooms. It was nice. At one time, I mean, there was a grand wedding in this backyard. We got married right here. And uh, we all lived here. The frustration is astronomical. I spent a weekend or more cleaning his yard while he's sitting in jail just to make the ordinance officer happy. And Ricky didn't have said thanks. I think the way his house is right now is dangerous. The heat lamp is my biggest concern. I don't think it's safe at all. And then having all that loose paper, if one paper just blows down and grabs at it's big trouble. I don't think so. The heat lamp is under control. They sell them heat lamps. Candles are sold too, and they're meant to scent a room or to light a room. They're meant to add a little bit of friendly ambience, a little bit of cheer and goodwill. That's just how his answers are. <coughs> think of the firemen, Ricky. That's what I tell them. Don't think of yourself, you. Think of the firemen going in there. Well, here's the door. Open the door! Hi. Morning. Ricky, I'm Dr. Zazio. I brought some backup with me. I'm Dr. Robin Zazio. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist, and I specialize in OCD and hoarding disorder. Are you ready for us to come in? I am in big trouble. He welcomed me in, but it was clear he was very ambivalent. Gotta be careful. Wow, Ricky. What is going on in here? Is this even safe to be in with the ceiling like this? Do you think you're just used to it so you don't think about it so much? Yeah. I just arrived at the house, so I heard there might be some structural damage. I had no idea that it was this bad. I don't even know what's being held up by what. It looks like he's actually pulled walls down out of this room, which were supporting the roof. Now we have these two two by fours supporting the whole second floor. And with this much weight and this much water damage, we just simply can't be in here. The only place we can work is the back and the side of the house. 
The center of this house and the hole upstairs is off limits. There's no way I'm letting the crew go in there to work. All right, so we're starting to bring stuff out, Rick. Okay. All right. This book is really good, and I do want to investigate that a little more. I just dragged that book out. This is moldy. I want to read it. Rick. Again. Okay, it's, it's not hard. safe. It's got mold on it. Most all these got water damage. Let's get them going. We'll never miss them. Let's do it. Pick up the whole pile and let's go. Well, there hasn't been much done. We made it into the door. We made it six feet in. There's a whole lot to clean out of there. They're thinking it's not going fast enough, so I want to get them in here and let them make some progress with you. Will that work? Nope. You're not on board with that? How come? No. I'm going to walk out. Don't walk out, Kevin. We can't walk out. No. Ricky, I don't see anything of any value right here, really. This is just a bunch of moldy stuff. Nope. Nope. Nope, no, nope, 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 nope. Hey, do you want the avocado or the orange? You know what? Well, you waste my time. If he wants to start yelling at me for helping him and telling me that, you know, that we're not even needed. We're here taking time out of our days to help you. You know, he's definitely thinking the wrong way. Then, you know? then, I, then I want to quit. Somebody got a shovel. I don't want a shovel. I don't want a shovel. He is completely manic. I don't think he slept at all. OK, I need to talk to you. You did a lot of work again last night. What time did you go to bed? 5.30. Well, it looks like it. The problem is all the rooms that we cleaned out are now full again. I don't know what. I don't know what's what. Now it's a disaster. That's my shoes. That's a whole box full of shoes and a shoe horn to make it work. You're going to keep this? I'm going to keep that. I'll throw it away next week. That doesn't make take, sense. I ain't taking time to look at that little box today. Yeah. That little box is fine. I don't fine. need you to take time. I need you to recognize when you see right something now, like this that it's trash. I just wanted him to show me what he was able to do last night. What's trash, what's keep? Looking at it right now, I said, I'm going to put a sock on and stick my foot in it. Oh, Rick. Every room we had cleaned out, he's filled up again. So now we're kind of starting over. Rick, I'm going outside. I want some fresh air in my keep kitchen. I want some tools Doing right whatever here. it is you're doing. You know what I'm saying? That's scrap. Holy. Little. Planes, trains, cars, automobiles. This is very heartbreaking to see Rick on the final day when we're about to leave, going back to this behavior. Planes, trains, cars, and automobiles. Watch. Look at the big box of them we got. Since he's already been in trouble with the city once, we cannot leave this stuff in the backyard. We're going to box everything up that he wants to keep, and we're going to put it in that back bedroom where he can store it and go through it later if he chooses. Now, we have to get this moldy stuff out. No, I ain't digging in that today. No, we are. You don't have to. It's completely molded over I know what and destroyed. Is. If you won't let us do this, we have nothing else to do. We ain't touching it. Ricky, you need to let them finish. Rosie, everything Rosie, is Rosie, close. Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. Uh, everything is Rosie. close to your life. So worry Wait about what's kept. That is not OK. You do not throw me. knives by people. Why would you ever do that? I'm people get bucket. worried when knives start I'm flying. Throw them in the bucket. That was man. so Rude. Rick, I'm shutting it down. Our only hope right now is to provide Rick the safest place in the house to live. There's only one room that's not in threat of falling down. So I'd like to put a few pieces of furniture in there that he can live in. If he chooses not to, that's up to him, but I feel it's our responsibility to make it for him. <laughs> Look at this. Come on in. Yeah, I'm shy. Given all the challenges that we had on this cleanup, this really is the best outcome that we could ask for. <laughs> oh man, it's a good place for me to. That oh this is a great room right here. This looks great. This is awesome. <laughs> this is different, ain't it? We know, you know, that, it, that you were going to stay in this house, but we couldn't have you going back upstairs and living in that tarped area. So we had to create the space to give you a safe option. The more we clean out this house, the more we're realizing how much damage there is. We know he's going to stay here, 
You know, he has nowhere else to go. Now they can at least have the water company come out, the gas company come out, get his utilities and things back on so that he can have a functioning house. We can all, including you guys, leave today knowing that he now has a safe place to be. Are you going to sleep in that bed or are you going to go back up to your cocoon and, and hovel? I might call us home. Over the past few days, Ricky has learned that he can make decisions, that he can throw stuff away. And I'm just hoping he's learned something from that. And I also hope that his brothers have learned that they've got to check on him and continue to support him if he's going to be successful. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.